am Dr. Muhammad Bashir Uddin Nandar. I am a consultant, surgical oncologist and a robotic surgeon. Today, uh, there is a patient awareness program uh, conducted by Manipal Hospital Hebal. I would like to you know, educate you of, uh, on ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer is the leading cause of mortality that is deaths among the women uh, amongst the gynecological cancers. The reason for this is ovarian cancers tend to present at a very late stage because it is an intra-abdominal organ and the symptoms by uh, the time they present with uh, it, the disease would have progressed to a, a greater stage and by then uh, uh, by then we by the time we pick up the disease the disease would have progressed to stage 3 and 4 uh, which is where all the problem lies so uh, coming to the types of ovarian cancers there are basically two broad types of ovarian cancers uh, the uh, first one is called as epithelial ovarian cancer. These are the most common types. These are seen amongst the elderly people that is 5th, 6th and 7th decade. And the other one which is uh, seen is also called as the germ cell cancers. These are seen among the younger women. So uh, coming to the uh, symptoms of ovarian cancer, I, as I have already told, the ovarian cancer tends to, you know, present at a very late stage. Initially, we hardly pick up any symptoms. They tend to present with uh, easy fatigability, abdominal distension, some uh, vague loss of uh, weight, loss of appetite. These are the symptoms. So there is no one specific symptom with which uh, a patient presents. That is why it is difficult for us to pick it up in early stage. In fact, even in the developed world, that is the US and the Europe, uh, even there the ovarian cancer tends to present in the uh, stage 3 onwards, that is almost about 70% of the population presents at stage 3. By when the uh, ovary, which is usually a pelvic organ, if the cancer is seen, it would have progressed on to the upper abdomen. The speciality of ovarian cancer is that it tends to you know spread intra abdominally that is within the peritoneal cavity uh, and not it uh, generally doesn't spread to the other organs though it uh, is seen but it is a very rare phenomenon so as uh, we know that if as it is localized in the abdominal cavity it can be treated but it needs a dedicated setup for the treatment and it needs a very extensive surgery so let's come to the treatment aspect of ovarian cancer. For stage 1 and 2, where the disease is localized on the ovary or within the pelvic cavity, usually we go ahead with surgery. When it goes to stage 3, if the patient condition permits, the patient is very fit, then we take her up for an extensive cytoreductive surgery and follow this up with something called as hypothermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy. This is where uh, our uh, department specializes in. In Manipal Hospital, we have a specialized machine called as HIPEC machine, wherein the chemotherapy is given at a heated uh, uh, temperature that is around 41.5 degrees. And we run the chemotherapy within the abdominal cavity after doing an extensive cytoreductive surgery. This is the key word. We have to do an extensive cytoreductive surgery wherein we take out the uh, hysterectomy, the bilateral ovaries, the pelvic lymph nodes, the paraiotic nodes, the omentum, the entire peritoneal lining of the ab abdomen, which is called as total peritonectomy. This is a very extensive surgery. It needs a dedicated center, dedicated setup. We need trained surgeons, uh, quality anesthetists, and a good ICU backup, which is all available at Manipal hospitals. After this, we do something called as HIPEC, wherein a heated uh, chemotherapy is, you know, uh, circulated with, within the peritoneal cavity. This is generally done for about 90 minutes. And by the heat, uh, heating of chemotherapy, what we achieve is the chemotherapy tends to penetrate a lot further into the uh, cancer cells and destroys it locally. When we give IV chemotherapy, that is systemic chemotherapy, the concentration that reaches the abdominal cavity is about one tenth or one hundredth of what we achieve 
when give when we give intraperitoneally that is by hypex so we would tend to deliver a large dose with minimal side effects this is what is called as hypex and when the patient unfortunately comes to us in a uh, state where we cannot operate upon or when the disease is too extensive the patient doesn't warrant a uh, extensive surgery then we can do something called as pipe pack which is pressurized intraperitoneal aerosolized chemotherapy wherein we spray the chemotherapy in the form of nanoparticles and it under pressure it goes and uh, you know uh, destroys the chemo uh, destroys the cancer cells and this facility is also available at manipal hospitals and uh, we are one of the pioneers in developing this technique and uh, we have an extensive series so i would uh, request all of the women out there especially women in their 30s 40s and 50s people with family history of ovarian or breast cancers or any other cancers to go for early screening screening can be done by tumor markers and ultrasound abdomen or the uh, ct scan of the abdomen and uh, also if there are any symptoms any doubts any clarifications needed you can visit us at manipal hospital hepal for further clarifications thank you have a good day